Imagine having the ability to stretch your feet so wide or flat by making your feet float and technically walk on water. Kamala Khan is just another kid from Jersey that has abilities that remind you of Mr. Fantastic. But how strong are we talking? Well, let's see. She was actually a human with latent inhuman heritage, but her power got activated or awakened by a Terrigen bomb. Because of such things, this basically made her into a polymorph type character, stretchiness type character, you know? Fun fact, she totally wants Spider-Man and Carol Miss Marvel to actually be together. <laughs> That's funny. It's a nice summary on her origin of how Terrigen Mist descended upon Jersey City and when she was imbued with polymorph powers. One cool thing about Kamala Khan is that she's a big old nerd like us. She got her own fanfic, comics, and everything. Doesn't mind posting on the internet, looking at the views, and everything. Kind of like me as a YouTuber, ain't it? That's funny. Respect her. Imagine having a pet with her power that I'm going to go over in this vid that you can shrink down to to the size of a gerbil and still just be, just kind of hang out with your pet that way. There's kind of new lore about Miss Marvel's power and how it works that can be kind of confusing. Like, it's stated here. She borrows mass. This is why she's able to embiggen. She was like, what do you mean? You borrow it from yourself across time. Every time you get bigger or smaller, you trade mass with your past and future selves. So when I'm big and I'm time traveling, not exactly, but your molecules are, they say. Like what? Through time, it makes sense now. That's an interesting way to look at her ability. Her molecules are literally traveling back in time and borrow mass. She wears these compartment bracelets. They come in handy because they have their own little compartments in them. She's had like temporary suits over the years. It was a pretty neat looking suit. This suit was useful during a certain comment where she had to communicate with the interface of this machine. However, there was a big con to this suit. Everything has their pros and cons, but even though this suit can rejuvenate her, boosting her strength, to the point she even said Hyde usually is much stronger than she is, she can feel Storm Ranger suit filling her with power, enhancing her, you know, the shapes, going extra strong but this is also where the part why i said there's pros and cons one of the cons being the suit tried to have a mind of its own to try to have her kill and she doesn't kill she, she's got a code where she had to get out of this suit because it was the suit itself was just acting crazy it saw her as a threat since she didn't want to kill the being imagine having a costume that enhances you and then the costume doesn't like you no more because you didn't want to kill so now you got to fight the actual costume itself that was amping you up now you got to use your own powers etc to fight it and that's exactly what kamala had to do trying to save a life while also trying to get away from it. And when people saw her in the street, she had to shapeshift her face to somebody else's face so they wouldn't recognize her, which is hilarious. Taking him to the police, then continues to fight the suit itself some more and does pretty well when you look at it panel for panel, but kind of got messed up here. It's crazy to think about she actually had to fight one of her suits. It sucks, but I guess this is their excuse. Having an excuse for her not to wear this no more, having it actually self-destruct so of course she can't get it no more so yeah but i haven't even got to all that stuff yet i just got on her suit let's get this video ready if she wants to she can even alter her physical appearance like on some plastic man type stuff stretch can make her fist into deadly weapons by making her fist larger to attack with more force thanks to her fist having more mass and can even deform her body completely to wrap you up like a blanket or some crap or one could say she can even make herself completely flat or smaller to get through certain places from the outside looking in it may not seem like her power is even all that good but when you really think about it when something's bigger it has more force behind it because more weight if she could just make her arms super big when she wants to it automatically makes her super humanly powerful only limitation is is what's her limits of her size of her growth because obviously she can't grow like the size of a universe or nothing but yeah like how she's strong enough to toss a car backhand when she's falling from high distances she can make her feet really big to where it kind of softens the blow counters like this just get destroyed when she was dressed up literally like miss marvel like captain marvel carol danvers miss marvel she's a fan you know i mean look how big she gets here slapping some soldiers around you know can engrave you into the concrete and push over a van because with her embiggen ability she's that strong Due to her being able to increase in size, she can lift a decent amount of size to rubble. Look how big her hands are versus the rubble itself. These dudes thought they had her contained. She said, nah, get a thud. Rifle punches out. So we already know she has superhuman attribute. Who in the actual heck needs Ant-Man when she can shrink this small? From long heights, all she has to do is shrink real small to where gravity doesn't have as much effect on her. Or just shrink to go through a gate. Imagine fighting somebody. Y'all get in a fist fight, trading blows, slugfest style. But then you start cheating. And you literally just vanish. And the person's like, where'd she go when she shrunk? She literally shrunk so she can turn off her own device for her. Like, bruh, that's cheating, ain't it? Just like her other stats, it's implied she has superhuman reflexes. Like being able to stretch her way out of stuff and weave through a lot of stuff. It's quite obvious she can stretch her arms for far distances. So you're never really out of range, if that makes sense. 
Thanks to her ability, she has very good traversal. I mean, how would you not be able to run fast if your legs can stretch this long? This actually looks really painful from the outside looking in, but she was able to jam some gear of a machine. Like, look, she's literally jamming it up with her set. Like, ouch, because she's rubbery. You'd be surprised about how much strength she has. Like, being able to strong enough to support trains, multiple of them at that, with her hands being that big. She's on the phone trolling while ninja's coming up to her and she's destroying them while she's halfway paying attention. Chunks of concrete she lifts up and throws it. Has the strength to uproot trees with ease. Wrestled a decent sized kaiju down to the ground. This robot is pretty big. In comparison, look at the size of her. She still was able to punch it. Let's do a slingshot, Spider-Man, and she slingshots him. Hey, alligator, punched you, knock you out, alligator. Notice how she didn't have to make her fist giantly big to do this. Like, she's like normal size. Still able to punch with this kind of power. Her punching power was able to do this to this wall with enlarged fists trying to stop something from blowing up these metal loading doors she can just kick her way out beings like kaboom just get punched to the floor thick boards get shattered with her vice grip robots this big she can hammer headbutt and take care of them that way even for a giant clone of herself it catches the foot of herself even when she's not in giant mode <laughs> letting you know she still has a decent amount of super strength even in this state Without even necessarily going giant mode. Carbon fiber net. Breaks out of it. Going to the size bigger than Kaiju's. Yeah, her strength does get better the bigger she gets. But it doesn't directly mean if she's normal size she can't do superhuman stuff. She can morph her hands into different type of weapons. Reminded me of some Green Lantern type stuff. Like different things that make her even more deadly of a combatant. Hammers, mallets, spikes. You get it. Due to feats like this at bare bones minimum, she can at least live 20, I would say personally 100 plus tons, because this seems like this was casual. She's gotten entanglements with quite a few people, like entanglements with Scarlet Witch, getting tangled up by her and etc. Getting tossed across the roof by Captain Marvel. Even interactions by Man-Thing, she's gotten slung by... She has the strength and durability to see an SUV coming towards her, get big and strong, enough to ram it like that, respect her strength and etc. Due to being superhuman, she has a better healing factor than normal. Like, she's even surprised on how she healed. She said, as soon as I went back to my regular self, I healed. This is amazing. The power of her healing works like this. It's the healing. After she healed, she felt like she skipped a night of sleep. Like the healing power comes straight out of my life force, she says. She's recovered from being electrocuted, I would like to admit. She's gotten hit with an electric pie to the face, though, and just kind of get off of me. She's not afraid to box you up. A kinetically charged explosion pretty much contained it. She had to blow her hands like... <sighs> I feel like the more creativity and more IQ you have, it makes somebody with a power like this even more scary. It's just so much you can do attack you from multiple angles trip you up not afraid of just grabbing passengers out of speeding trucks i mean she hopped this fence it don't even like she used her stretching ability just like other marvel characters she should have massively faster than supersonic reflexes like dodging lasers like this whether it be plasma pistols or plasma blasters bolts all of those nine yards she can react to and even kind of blitz you imagine her fighting her and she's reacting to your punches makes her fist huge and just covers your whole body with her, your fist Someone I would say, and I have a video about Beast on my channel, I would say is in that Spider-Man range. Dark Beast, for example, she was able to restrain. Imagine somebody like this with Ultra Instinct type reflexes. How would you ever hit them? Their body would just consistently move out of the way of your attacks. Like imagine if Kamala had spider sense. Trying to hit Miss Marvel would be like this. She could just bend her body to her will to where she just literally can't be hit if she just had like spider sense or some crap. Almost making her almost unhittable. Funny, ain't it? She can literally enlarge her ears to hear better. She's even strong enough to face off against beings like the Shocker getting big like this and being able to blast away all these cars trying to protect someone in the process. Shocker literally said, I'm good. They literally turned Shocker into a gag to where he said, I gotta go. Like, bruh, get over here, she said. Fighting somebody that be fighting Spider-Man is awesome. Trading blows is respect even taking strikes from this said guy it's a little surprising on how many panels she's actually punching shocker in how they're fighting each other dodging each other's attacks hitting each other against the wall just interesting she has no problem consecutively curb stomping or clapping up robots if i'm gonna be honest when it comes to her strength levels i would say she's probably a spider family level being at the very least or one can say a symbiotic type tier just from the fact that she can grow to the size of buildings or even large buildings at that when her big and ability being able to borrow mass from her future past selves and stuff like that because her molecules are time traveling type stuff i mean when you have the ability to make your fist ginormous or make your fist bigger than your actual body you have no choice but to be able to punch really hard it's already proven she can lift over hundreds of tons 
She can punch a lot harder because most beings can. Respect her. How many of you could say your actual suit that you was wearing that was ampling you up, she had to fight it off and defeat it? You know, respect her. But I also got to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel. Helps out a lot. Believe it or not. Respect Miss Marvel Kamala Khan.